Hello, 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 everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Angel. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Hi, Jami. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm sick. You're sick. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Lamento mucho escuchar eso, así que espero que siga mejor, all right? Thank you. <laughs> all right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope that most of you are safe and sound, all right? Espero que todos se encuentren bien de salud. Y si algunos estamos por ahí algo débiles o enfermitos, pues espero que se recuperen pronto, all right? Y qué bueno verlos en la clase a pesar de que estén enfermos. Eso demuestra mucho su interés por aprender. So let's get started, everybody. Does it have a view? All right. Today we're going to start section two. All right. We're going to finish with section one, but also we're going to start with section two. Vamos a terminar los, lo poquito que nos quedó de la sección uno, pero al mismo tiempo, pues vamos a iniciar. Esperemos que nos alcance el tiempo para iniciar con la sección dos. All right. So we are in class number three. Please don't forget that we are in beginners too. Okay. So let's move on. Simple present questions and conversation. I get up at noon. Right? We're still in, in simple present. Todavía nos estamos guiando en el simple present. Ahora vamos a ver cómo formar o cómo hacer preguntas utilizando el simple present. So we have a conversation. It's pretty interesting. So let's pay attention. I'm going to be I'm going to be the first one on reading the conversation. Yo les voy a leer la conversation. Escuchen cuidadosamente, and here we go. Let me make it bigger for you. All right, Jack. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but. Let's go on in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent. In our country, that doesn't happen, right? Aquí no sirven el desayuno todo el día. Todos los restaurantes tienen un tiempo estipulado para servir los breakfast. Eso significa desayuno, breakfast. So let's catch up. Vamos a ver, vamos a practicar. Let me see. Voy a practicar con uno de ustedes primero para que otra vez escuchemos la pronunciation y luego ya los dejo a ustedes solos. Let me check. Do I have a volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario. All right, Elizabeth, excellent. So you are Amy, Elizabeth. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They save your breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Very good job. All right. So let me go with another student. Now I'm going to let you alone, guys. All right, so you're going to make it alone. Let's see, I'm going to have Angel. You are Jack. Okay. Let me see. Norma Elizabeth, you are Amy. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get? Excuse me. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. 
Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent, very good job, excellent. This is an excellent warming up, everybody. Por cierto, este es un calentamiento muy nítido. Iniciar una conversation o iniciar la clase con la conversation nos hace recordar lo que hemos visto anteriormente. Y aparte, eh, retroalimentar lo que vamos a ver. So, excellent, Ángel and Norma, very good job. Let's go with Carlos Antonio. Carlos, you are Jack. Alba Duarte, you are Amy. Good evening, by the way. Good evening, teacher. Let, Good evening. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get on the Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They no, serve, service breakfast all day, all day. Very good, that's correct, my friend. Now, repeat after me, Alba, yes, sir. This work, sir. Let's check, Alba, are you there? Okay. Sir, esa es la única palabra. Sir. Y le digo que la repita porque sí vi ahí que, que se paró, right? Entonces dije, quizás tiene duda de cómo se pronuncia. Sí, gracias, sir. Perfecto, eh, gracias. Very good. All right, guys, listen up. Eh, these two couples, estas dos parejas que han pasado, han hecho inclusive la entonación muy buena. Very good. I'm impressed. Me gusta mucho cuando hacen la entonación como si ustedes estuvieran viviendo esa conversation, porque este es basically un real life setting. Esto es un, es un escenario de la vida diaria. Entonces, que ustedes le pongan empeño hasta en la pronunciation y la entonación es excelente. Very good job. Let's move on con Yami Rajo. Yami, if you can talk, you're going to be Amy. And William Liborio, you are Jack. Action. Good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay. ¿Puedo comenzar? Yes, please, action. Okay. Let's, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Very good. Intonation and pronunciation. We're doing right. Let me go with Douglas Alvarez. You are Jack and Nancy Gutierrez. You are Amy. Action, please. Let's go to the bar on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What well, time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you get breakfast then? Sir. I had breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant on the on one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Thank you, Nancy and Douglas. 
Now, let me check. Uh, Douglas, repeat after me. Sure. 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 Uh -huh, exactly. That's correct. My friend. Sure. Sure. Excellent. Sure. Let's go with Nancy. Uh, eat. Eat. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good job. Thank you, guys. Let's go with Kenya Ayala. You are Amy. Kenya. Okay. You are Amy. Good. Good evening, by the way. <laughs> good evening. And Gus, Gustav Garcia. Y me corrige si no pronuncie bien su nombre, please. Mr. Garcia. Uh, aquí estoy. Good, okay. good okay. evening. Good evening. You are Jack. Action. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that is early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at your restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right. Excellent. That was a great job. Like it. Let me check. Let's go with Daisy Carolina. You are Amy. And let me check if I have Jose Garcia. You are Jack. Action. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep later on week weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast? Breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent job. Very good. We're doing correct and excellent. Now, uh, Daisy, repeat after me. Late. Late. Mm -hmm. Late, exactly. Okay, gracias. You're welcome, honey. Let's go with Cecilia Rivas and Damaris Vega, please. Cecilia, you are Jack. Damaris, you are Amy. Action. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, welcome. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's, uh, bueno, comienzo. Uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Okay. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. And on Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at his restaurant. At one o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. Excellent. Very good job. Even intonation and pronunciation. That was correct. Let me go with Marta Argueta. Marta Argueta, you are uh, Jack. And let me look for you a name. Ceci Hernandez. You are Amy. Action. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Good evening. Okay. Jack, uh, Jack Berger. Yes. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. 
On Sunday, I'll get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. That's correct, my friends. Thank you. No mistakes. We're doing correctly. Let me go with the last pair. I think it's going to be the last pair, all right? I have Ana Maritza. You are Amy. Arnoldo Castellón. You are Jack. Action. Uh, Inicio con Jack, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go. Let's go in the afternoon. I I sleep like on. I know. Se me escapa eso, no. I sleep late. Weekend. I on weekend. I sleeping. Sleep. Sleep late I on sleep. weekends. ¿Se escuchó, Anita, o, o lo digo de regreso? Sí. Sí. Ahí es. 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 Ahí I don't know, Maritza. ¿Va a repetirlo, Maritza? Vaya, ¿la primera? Yes. Uh -huh. ¿O la segunda? Ok. No, la okay, primera. But... No. Ok. But let's go on the afternoon. I live on the... Ay, no, la, la última palabra se me escapa. Weekend. Late, late, late on weekend. Late, late, late on... on... Lay on okay. okay. What time do you get up on Sunday? It's ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Uh, do you eat breakfast? Sure, I have breakfast every day. The big meat is this restaurant at one o'clock. They they share break, break all day. All right, excellent. Thank you both of you, Arnoldo and Anna. Thank you for your effort. All right. Okay. Thank, yeah. thank. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's check the vocabulary. Anita, repeat after me. Restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Breakfast. 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 Break. Break. Uh -huh. Break. Breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Usted no se preocupe, Anita, porque usted tiene la cámara apagada, pero imagínese yo aquí hasta los dientes les muestro. Right? Este, no, en serio, everyone. La pronunciation, muchas veces con nuestra pronunciation tenemos que hacer un gran esfuerzo por abrir nuestra boca, all right? Pues yo no sé si a ustedes les pasará, pero en nuestro idioma usualmente no, ni siquiera le damos tanto sonido a las palabras. Y en cambio en este sí tenemos que hacer. That's why, Anita. Excellent. Bueno. Now, aha, Angel, do you have a question? Yes. Eh, bueno, una inquietud. Uh -huh. He tratado de, de entender el, el, la conversación y Jack es el dueño del restaurante. No, he is just a classmate or a co-worker. Él es un trabajador, compañero de trabajo de ella. Ah, como dice que, eh, sure, I have breakfast every day. 
o yo lo interpreto diferente. Uh -huh. All right. Tengo desayunos todo el día. No, cuando dice I have, en este sentido, usted está muy bien, porque have significa tener. Ajá. Pero en este sentido, es lo que yo les decía anteriormente, my dear students, a veces los contextos varían el significado de las palabras. En este caso, cuando él dice I have breakfast every day, es como si yo tomo el desayuno todos los días Ajá. o yo desayuno todos los días. O todo, todo el día, ajá. Ajá, exactly. Eh, every day. No, pero aquí cuando dice every day es eh, todos los días. Si dijera mm. all day long o durante todo el día, sería all day long o all day. Ok. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Pregunta. Excelente. Sí. Si en dado caso ustedes tienen dudas en cuanto al diálogo, lo que les mencionaba en la clase pasa a veces. Sí se puede hacer translations de totalidad en, el, en el, la conversation, pero no les va a funcionar en realidad mucho. Lo más coherente es hacer una interpretation, así como dice Angel, right? De asumir que tal vez eso significaba y ahí le vamos buscando algo. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque si toda la vida pensamos en el español mezclado con el inglés, nos va a costar aprender el inglés, right? Tenemos que pensar straight to the point in English, right? So excellent, very good job. Me gusta que hagan ese tipo de análisis. Now, basically, the whole conversation, eh, to be honest, it's like, en realidad toda la conversación, para serles honestos, es como, vamos a ir a pasear on Sunday, vamos al parque on Sunday, all right, el domingo. Sí, pero vamos en la tarde, porque pues, yo me despierto tarde los fines de semana, eso le dice ella. ¿A qué hora se despiertas? Los domingos. A las 10 en punto, le dice. Pues está temprano. I get up at noon. Yo me despierto después del mediodía o al mediodía, right? I get up at noon sería al mediodía. Y tomas el desayuno. Después de eso, le dice. O tomas el desayuno, aún así. Sure, I have breakfast every day. Claro que sí, yo el desayuno no me lo pierdo. Lo como todos los días, right? Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. Entonces nos reunimos en el restaurante o reunámonos en el restaurante a la una en punto. They serve breakfast all day. Ellos sirven eh, desayunos todo el día. All day. Ahí sí es all day, mire Angel. Aquí all day. There you have it, sir. Now, es, me imagino que ese restaurante es ser den. <laughs> all right. Ellos sí sirven desayunos todo el día. All right, everyone, excellent job. Solo voy a retomar lo de los irregular verbs que vimos ayer. Ya ustedes tienen una, en, quizás un knowledge, un conocimiento previo en cuanto a esto, pues lo vimos ayer. Estos son los tres irregular verbs que van a estar utilizando en el simple present. Of course, como yo les mencionaba ayer, you're going to find out many irregular verbs during different levels. Durante todo su proceso de aprendizaje van a ir encontrando más y se van a dar cuenta que son más obvios cuando estamos en el past tense, right? en el tiempo pasado. En este caso solo estamos trabajando con tres. Have equals has for third person singular. Go equals goes or goes for third person singular. And do equals does. And that's it, pretty much. Let's move on to see what else do we have. Aquí vamos a hablar esto un poquito. All right. So simple present questions. Aquí viene el uso del do directamente como lo hemos estado aprendiendo, right? Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Tenemos estas que comienzan con el do o el does. Y también tenemos las WH questions. No solamente las van a ver en esta clase, quizás las van a ver en el, todo el resto del periodo, right? Todo el resto del módulo. Las WH questions son las que se conocen como information questions, porque estas piden un poco más de información, right? Entonces tenemos... Uh, what time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? 
at one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day, right? Estas son las que tenemos. Vamos a repasar la pronunciation y luego vamos a hacer una práctica corta. So let's see. William, do you have a question? Yes. Eh, fíjense de que eh, tiene razón. Eh, ya he visto lo que son los verbos irregulares. Mi pregunta es, ¿por qué son irregulares? Ah, because they change their, for, their form. Ellos cambian su forma. Totalmente, eh, miren. Y, y, ajá, correcto. Y será por la regla gramatical que, que, que se cambia en el caso del go que te, eh, se le debe de aumentar es o todos serían hasta cierto punto irregulares. No, fíjese que de hecho, William, I'm gonna be very honest with you. En el simple present hay muchas reglas gramaticales que se tienen que ver. Van a encontrar inclusive unos verbos ustedes donde están con why, por ejemplo, cry. El verbo cry, ya si lo queremos pasar a tercera persona, va a cambiar la why y le va a agregar es. Uh -huh. I y es, pero esas son otras reglas gramaticales. Imagino que todavía no las vemos aquí porque ya son un poquito más strong, son un poco más fuertes. All right? Pero... Sí, estos son como los principales que tenemos, por así decirlo. Y por eso se vuelven irregular, porque cambian su forma en escritura en la tercera persona. Ok, gracias. Excellent. Very good job. Tal vez, pienso yo, que si al final del módulo de la última clase nos queda un chance relativamente largo de tiempo, podemos ver otras reglas gramaticales para ayudarles a ustedes, right? Brindarles un poco más, que se enriquezcan más. So let's see, so far we're, gonna, we're going to work with this one. So let's check. In Ceci Hernández, you asked, Ángel Cano, you answered. Ceci, usted pregunta, Ángel, usted contesta. Eh, solamente con las de do and does, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he... Have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Excellent, very good job. Now, in this one, if you notice, we are using the auxiliary. Como ya pasaron ellos a exponer o a leer, en este caso estamos utilizando el auxiliary. Ya vamos a ver la regla gramatical. Déjenme ver, por aquí se la voy a mover. Sí, aquí está. Dice, esta es, miren, <ríe> let me check. Maybe I'm going to add another one. I'm going to place it over here. All right. Let me take it. Let me put it over here. Aquí está la regla gramatical. Everybody copy this. Yo les sugiero que lo copien. All right. For yes or no questions. A esto se le conoce yes or no questions. No es porque me van a iniciar la pregunta con el yes o el no. Eso es gramaticalmente imposible, ¿verdad? Sino que porque, sino que la razón por la cual la llamamos yes or no questions es porque la respondemos con yes or no. ¿Ok? For example, la estructura nos dice do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Esa es la estructura. Do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Y nos da los ejemplos. Do you get up early? Does he have lunch at noon? Siguiendo la regla gramatical, miren. Aquí utilizo mis auxiliaries. Así me lo pide la estructura. Inicia con el auxiliary. Ok, I'll do it. Lo hago. Add a, no, add a subject. Ponele un subject. Utilizamos el you, el he. Verb, get up, have. Esos son mis verbs. Complement, early lunch at noon. Ojo con esto. Recuerden que cuando ustedes tienen el does, no le vamos a agregar es a nuestro verbo, right? Y eso se aplica hasta para las questions. Right? We're clear, I think, over here. Me confirman cuando terminen de copiar eso para moverme a la anterior donde está.
Finish, teacher. Copiado. Very good job. Now, let's move on. We have WH questions. And let me check. Ana Maritza, you ask. Usted pregunta en Vilma Contreras, you answer. Action. Usted contesta, Vilma. What time, what thing do, what time do you have it? Get up. At 10 o'clock. What time does, does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they? They drive to drive. work. When do they drive? Drive. Drive. Como si tuviera drive. Drive. Drive to work. Every, every day. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, veamos la estructura de esto. ¿Qué nos piden? For WH questions, we use, we use, all right, we use WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement, right? There you have it. Tenemos la WH word. A ver, les pregunto, eh, ¿cuáles son las WH words que tenemos? What, que ustedes conocen. What, uh, what, why, when, which, why, where, why, why, very good. Where? Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent, very good. Ah, pues estamos, tenemos esa información registrada, excellent. Utilizando esas WH words, solo le vamos a agregar el do o el does, right, cuando sea necesario. En este caso estamos todavía con el simple present, lo necesitamos. Plus the subject, plus verb, plus the complement. All right? That's it. Recuerden que en el caso de, de estas preguntas de what time, Miss, pero ahí la palabra time va, de, va antes del do. Sí, pero eso es por específicamente porque están preguntando por el tiempo. Esa quizás sería la única sección que tenemos. De ahí, you don't have another one. All right? Now, let me check. Let's get Cecilia Rivas. Oh, let me check. Do you have questions, guys? Questions, comments, doubts? Ajá, eh, perdón, yo pregunto primero. Ah, yo pregunto, Cecilia Rivas, sí. Sí, yeah, yeah, Cecilia, sí, solo, okay. permítame, Cecilia, solo les estaba consultando si tienen alguna duda o consulta, everybody. No. no. Ok, excelente, Cecilia. You have <laughs> questions. Usted pregunta y. Let me check. Sí, William... son la segunda, perdón, la segunda columna, ¿verdad? What time is. No, it? la de do and does. Ah, la, ah es está. Yes or no. Ok. Bueno. Eh, do you get up early? Yo lo hago todo. No. Ahí está William. Ajá, William. Ah. Ok. At 10 o'clock. Aquí, William, no hay. Ahí yeah, es, perdón. No hay get up late. Eh, does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at 1 o'clock. Eh, do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Right, excellent, very good job, thank you. Yami Rojo, Yami, you ask, usted pregunta, Jose Garcia, you answer. Action. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they try to work? Yes, they try to work every day. 
Excellent, very good job. And now let's have the last pair to practice. Norma, you ask, pero con las WH uh, questions, please, Norma. Usted pregunta. And Gustav Garcia, you answer. Usted responde. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. That's correct. Excellent. Now, everybody, let's keep in mind these formulas or structures. Tengamos en cuenta estas formulas o estructuras, como es la del WH questions as well as the for yes or no questions, right? Así como la de yes or no. Now, so far, do you have questions or doubts? Dudas, preguntas, ahorita es su tiempo, antes de que nos vamos a otra cosa. No questions. Excellent, very good job. Excellent. Si les surgen dudas, you let me know, okay? Now, esto es para practicar nuestro speaking, everybody. Ya esta es la última parte de la um, lesson one, no, section one, all right? A student reporter might start talks to people on the street about their schedules. Schedules es horario, all right? Schedules. We have Brit Brittany Davis, college student, all right? No se preocupen, a todos les voy a, no a todos, pero sí la mayoría van a participar aquí. Si ustedes tienen duda de cómo se pronuncia algo, me dicen con tiempo y yo lo hago con ustedes en vez de que vayan solos, ¿ok? La primera vez yo voy a hacer ahorita Mike en Britain. Ok, so we have, what's your schedule like? Schedule. Repito la palabra, schedule. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at seven and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do they, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight, right? Hasta la medianoche, midnight. So, do I have any volunteers? Tengo algunos voluntarios para hacer esta parte de Mike en Brittany. Okay, excellent. Ya tengo a dos participantes. Let me check. Okay, let's go with Arnoldo Castellón. You are Mike and let me check. I need a girl. <laughs> okay, let me see. Elizabeth Giron, you are Brittany. Action. Arnoldo. Perdón. Me había activado el, el micrófono. Okay. What's your schedule like? I get up at 7 the bus. When do your class end? Then, in at noon, then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time is in the evening, from A until evening. That's correct, bravo. Thank you, guys. All right. Voy con uh, la siguiente conversación. Uh, Repítame la, la, en, en, en what's your... Es esa palabra. Schedule. Schedule. Sí, sí, sí. Schedule. Ok. Gracias. Excellent. You're welcome, sir. Now, ahora voy con esta segunda conversation y ahí también voy a necesitar a dos personas. Primero lo voy a hacer yo y después van a pasar los dos que quieran participar. So, Mike and Joshua, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. <laughs> Qué valor, va, va a correr antes del desayuno. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? 
Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Now, let's go with Carlos Antonio. You are Mike and Angel Cano. Usted quería participar, right? Ahora va a ser Joshua. Action. What's your slice like? Well, I get up at six me six al a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. I at eight o'clock around. One, one p.m. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Excellent, bravo, very good. Carlos, repeat after me. Y esta palabra yo sé que es difícil, right? A schedule. A schedule. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's a, a schedule. Yes. Thank you. Very Thank good you. job. Now, voy con la third conversation. Me dirijo a la tercera y última conversation. Y también voy a necesitar dos participants. Maya Black, rock musician. Mike, what's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a, ta a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so let's check. Um, let me see, do I have participants or volunteers? Nobody? All right, so I will choose. Let me see, vamos a ver a quienes tenemos por aquí. Okay, I need somebody who hasn't participated. Let's see, Ceci Hernandez, you are Maya. And let me check. Gust Gustav Garcia, please. You are Mike. Action. What's your schedule like? I work at... I work at night, I go to the work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have diner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go? to bed. I go to bed at five in the morning. That's correct, excellent, very good job. Thank you guys. Now let's check this one, hey, Ceci, only repeat this one, dinner. Dinner. Uh -huh. Excellent, dinner, very good job. See, it's just a diner, Thank you. Es para comedor, pero en este caso es cena, All right? Dinner. Okay, thank you. thank you so much. Now, everybody, very good job. Um, I'm impressed. You're doing it, you're nailed it, right? Están haciéndolo excelente. Now, practice time. <laughs> All right, number one, create three sentences using the following verbs has, goes, and does. Share your sentences with the class. Now, uh, maybe because of the time, no me van a crear tres, solo creen dos, right? Create two sentences. Van a crear dos oraciones utilizando los verbs de has, goes, and does. O sea, van a tener que escoger entre esos, right? Va a haber uno que no lo van a utilizar. Y luego compartimos con la clase sus oraciones. Action.
Ok, when you finish, let me know. All right, los que vayan terminando me hacen saber, please. Finish, miss. Excellent. Very good. Yami, me regala sus oraciones, please. Sí. Solo que no sé si están bien redactadas, pero se la pueden mencionar. She goes to shopping to commercial center. Ella va de compras al centro comercial, quise, quise poner. Voy a poner, eh, quítele la preposition. Solo ponga, she goes shopping. She goes. Tú ya no. No, you don't need it. She goes shopping to commercial center. Uh -huh. Or to the mall. To the? To the mall. Que mall es centro comercial. Uh, mall. Mm -hmm. mall. Y, and, and, and another is, he has a dog. El tu yes. perro. Yes, he has a dog. Then, él tiene un perro. Excellent, Yami. Now you see, very practical. Tan fácil es, right, Yami? Excellent. <laughs> Let's go with Ángel. Ok, también tengo la misma interrogante si, si, lo, si lo escribí bien o no. Vamos right. a ver. Gosh, goes she to the... Perdón, tengo un poco de tos, me cuesta un poco ahorita. Gosh, Gas she to the museum today? Yes, she goes to the museum every day. She works there. All right, vaya, analicemos esa. Does she go? Así la tiene. Does she go? No, gas she to the museum. Ah, my friend. Pero quiere hacer una pregunta. Eso es lo que quiere hacer, ¿verdad? Una pregunta yes. ahí. ¿Y qué necesitamos para las preguntas? Mr. Cano. An auxiliar. Mm -hmm. Exacto. En ese caso tendría que poner go. Mm, does she she, go. Exactly. Do, does so, she go? Does, does she go? To the museum today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Only that. Solo es. Sí, solo es. Very Thank good you. job, Angel. Excellent. Elizabeth, your turn. Thank you, teacher. Igual a mí me corrige. <laughs> my sister has a new pair of shoes. My father goes to park every day. My mother does to dinner at night. All right, so la última. My mother does dinner. No necesita ponerle to dinner. Only does dinner. Uh -huh. at my night. mother does dinner at night. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Very good job. Let's go with Arnoldo. Carlos, fíjese, Carlos, que yo veo que tiene la mano arriba, pero no sé si es que quiere participar o se le olvidó desde la vez pasada. All right, so ahí me confirma después de Arnoldo. Ajá, Arnoldo. Se me olvidó quitarla, pero no, ahorita no he terminado. <laughs> ok. Right. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Ok. Ay. Voy con mis dos oraciones. He has many t-shirts. She goes to the school every day. Yes, those are correct. Excellent. Solo la pronunciation, Arnoldo, de t-shirts. T-shirts. Mm -hmm. T-shirts. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very okay. good. Todo lo demás está perfecto. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's go with Damaris. Okay. My husband has a white car and the train goes very fast. Very good, excellent. No mistakes. We're doing good. Ceci, action, Ceci. Uh, she has a new house in Dalton. Ben does his homework. All right, excellent. Yes, very good job. No mistakes. We're doing good. Now, everybody, and let me check. 
We're going to move on to the next part, right? Let's see. Los que no me alcanzaron a dar sus sentences ahora, no se preocupen. Mañana, si ustedes gustan, me las pueden decir, all right? Siempre les voy a ayudar, aunque ya vayamos por la section two. So let's see. We have vocabulary, house, and apartment. Now in this one, para esta, yo les voy a decir el vocabulary aquí, pero sí quiero que ustedes presten cuidadosa atención cuando estén ya en la sección 2 y estén utilizando o escuchando, mejor dicho, el video, el audio, right? Para que continúen mejorando eh, su pronunciation. Todos tienen una bonita pronunciation, no les voy a mentir. I'm really impressed. Y qué bonito trabajar así, right? So let's go. House, we have a second floor and first floor. El first floor es el primer piso y el second floor es el segundo piso. In first floor, we have dining room. Aquí sí es dining, all right? Dining room. Kitchen. Laundry room. Living room. Yard. Stairs. Stairs. Garage. Second floor. Bedroom. Bedroom, all right? Closet. Hall, stairs, bedroom, bathroom, apartment, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator or elevator. Yeah, elevator, all right? So let's see. Let me see. In ¿Quiénes de ustedes ya van por la section 2? Nobody. All right. Ninguno. Ninguno. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm noticing that. All right. Yo por esa section voy, teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good. Let me check. Now, please, I uh, voy a pedir Primero un voluntario y luego otro. Do I have any volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario que quiera decir el vocabulary with me. Let me check. Okay. Elizabeth. Okay. Open your microphone and repeat after me. First floor. First floor. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Living room. Living room. Stairs. Stairs. Yard. Yard. Garage. Garage. Second floor. Second floor. Bedroom. Bedroom. Closet. Closet. Hall. Hall. Bedroom. Bedroom. Stairs. Stairs. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Apartment. Apartment. Bathroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. Bedroom. Closet. Closet. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Living room. Living room. Elevator. Elevator. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario? Nobody. <laughs> All right, and Arnoldo, excellent. Open your microphone and repeat after me. First floor. First floor. Aldo, Arnoldo, este, no sé si usted lo quiere decir solo o quiere que yo vaya con usted. Mm, si quiere, me corrige cuando All me equivoco. Right. Excellent. Actually, lo voy a intentar. First floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stair, yard, garage, second floor, bedroom, closet, hall, stair, bathroom, bedroom, garage, apartment, bedroom. Uh, bedroom, dining room, closet, living room, elevator, kitchen. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Ah, everybody, and we forgot the lobby. Nos olvidamos del no. lobby. 
Sí, lobby. Lobby. Okay. That's okay. right. Como es un apartment, okay. pues tienen lobby. Excellent. Now let's go with Norma. Norma, do you want to go with me or alone? ¿Quiere que yo participe con usted o va usted sola? Eh, pues lo voy a intentar sola. First floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stair, yard, second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, all, eh, stairs, bedroom, bathroom, garage, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, y lobby. Excellent, bravo girl, excellent. Now, everybody, listen up. Let's check this one. I'm gonna tell you something, all right? Um, let me see. For tomorrow's class, we're going to start practicing this vocabulary once again. Los que no pasaron ahora van a participar mañana porque vamos a iniciar con esto como un warming up. Mañana tenemos que avanzar a lot in the section two, all right? Vamos a avanzar muchísimo en la section two. Y también recuerden que ustedes para esta semana tienen que finalizar section one and section two, all right? So, si necesitan ayuda, no duden en pedírmela. Eh, obviamente, a veces tardo un poquito porque estoy trabajando, pero yo con gusto les ayudo. Ángel, ¿tiene una pregunta? Sí. Solo, eh, ¿cuál es la traducción de lobby? Lobby, para nosotros es el lugar de espera. Ok. Y hall, si no me equivoco, es pared, ¿verdad? No, hall es pasillo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, everybody. Los dejo porque tengo que ir a otro, all right? And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye, bye. Sure.